sit in your chair and take information time. This is get up and take advantage of this opportunity that we have been given to be inside. Um, I think it's very important before I start that yes, the goal of this is to help you change your golf swing. Um, but the real goal is for us to find opportunity in adversity. Um, I am fully aware that there is more important things going on in the world right now than my golf lesson. But in life, when we're faced with adversity, uh, if we can find opportunity in it, that is a good psychological habit to build. That will help us be successful, not just in the game of golf, but at the game of life. So if I can entertain you, I've never done this before, not what I'm about to do. Uh, I've practiced it a couple of times. So if I can entertain you, if I can help you maybe find some passion for practicing indoors or changing your golf swing in a different way, if I can create some positive change, then this golf lesson was worth it because it's going to help you find opportunity in adversity. So how are we going to do this? Has anyone that's online right now ever ridden a Peloton bike? Or has anyone ever done yoga on YouTube? When you do yoga on YouTube or when you ride a Peloton bike, you directly copy the instructor. That's what this is. This is YouTube yoga for golf. This is Peloton for golf. You guys are going to copy me. Um, I did yoga for maybe the third time in my life the other day with my girlfriend. Man, if you want to feel not strong and not flexible, do an hour of yoga on YouTube. I'm going to predict that this is going to have the same impact. This is going to show you it's not that easy to change your golf swing. You're going to have physical limitations. You're going to have mental limitations because the club's going to want to move in some way. You're going to want to move it in another way. So we are going to take advantage of this opportunity. We are going to learn to practice indoors. And this can absolutely change your golf swing. So you're going to need a safe space to swing like I have here. You're going to need your golf clubs. Hopefully you guys can see my sweet new set of PXGs. Um, here, this is today's lesson. I planned it all out and we are going to go through this. I have 40 minutes on Zoom. We are going to go through this and you guys are going to copy me. Uh, this will help you change your movement pattern. Being inside right now, practicing golf is a blessing because we've removed the golf ball. No distractions of outcomes. When we hit shots, it's possible to make a good swing, the change that we want to make, but strike the ball badly. It's also possibly possible to make a poor golf swing, the change that we're trying, the, the movement that we're trying to get away from, and hit a good shot. So outcome degrades learning. I'm going to repeat that because it's important. Outcome degrades learning. So in this room, there is no outcome. There is just the movement. This is absolute perfect time to master your golf swing movements. So what you're going to do, you're going to grab a club. Just grab my 7-iron, my sweet new PXG 7-iron. These bad boys. And I am going to take you through golf peloton or golf YouTube yoga, whatever we want to call it. Just make sure you've got a safe space. Just make sure, like me, you can get a full swing in without hitting anything. Uh, if you can, I'm very casual today. I thought about putting all my uh, David Ledbetter uniform on or all my uh, PXG clothes on, but decided otherwise. I wanted to be chill like you guys. Um, kick your shoes off. This will give you more idea of where the pressure are in your feet. Uh, increase proprioceptive awareness. And right, let's go. So drill number one, we're going to do what we call sandwich training. So I'm going to do it this way. So in my golf swing, I'm working on keeping the club outside of the hands and making a full turn. 
So the move that we want to make in our swing, whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you're working on, not what I'm working on, whatever it is that you're working on, I want you to copy me and make it at the same speed as me. Hands outside. Turn, keep turning. Okay, that's the move that I want to make in my golf swing. Now, I'm gonna sandwich the move that I don't wanna make. So I want you guys to follow along with this. Okay, this is the move I don't wanna make. That's what I don't wanna make in my golf swing. I don't wanna roll my hands like that. Now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna make the move I want to make in my golf swing. Keep turning. Keep turning. Ooh, it's hard work. Okay, that's one set. So, breath, just like in yoga, Whew. shake it out, just like on the Peloton, they give you a little rest. And we're going to go again. We're going to do that three times. That's one set. We're going to do three sets of the sandwich training. So, take your set up at a nice, smooth, steady speed. Make the move that you want to make in your golf swing. That was the move I want to make. Now, make the move I don't want to make. Whew. Now, make the move that you want to make. So, as Zach Parker would say, load and explode. Okay, that's set number two. Now, if you're doing this properly, um, I'm not the most in shape person, but I'm definitely not out of shape. Man, I'm feeling that in my muscles, I'm feeling that in my heart rate. Take a breath. Okay, this is the final rep. We're gonna do this again, then we're gonna change club. So, get in your golf posture. Firstly, Make the move you want to make. This is sandwich training. We are sandwiching the bad move, the move we want to get away from, in between the move that we want to work towards. So, it's already feeling better for me. Already feeling better. That was good. Okay, now the bad. What I don't want to do. And now the good. Okay, good. So, that's it. Step one done. Now, it says on my board, change club. So I'm going to change my sweet seven iron, or I'm going to go for a nine iron. Now the next task, we are going to do a slow motion swing. This swing is going to last one minute. So, you've put your club away, done three reps of the sandwich drill, you're feeling motivated, you are creating opportunity out of adversity, and this slow motion swing is gonna last one minute. And you're gonna do it talking out loud. So whatever you're focused on, talk it out loud as you do it. So for example, so if it's gonna last a minute, 30 seconds backswing, 30 seconds into impact. So for me, take a breath, right, good setup, pin my shoulders back, okay, hinge, keep the club outside the hands, keep the club outside the hands. Now you can see that the swing is moving, club is moving, it's moving real slow. This has to last 30 seconds, but you can't break, you cannot break. So keep moving, keep moving, man, it's so hard. Keep moving, keep the club turning, keeping it outside my hands. Now I want to start to rotate my, turn my body, get wide and short, as Zach Parker would say. Keep turning, keep turning. Keep my eyes on the floor as if there was a golf ball there. 
keep turning. I can feel the load. Man, I can feel my body resisting these movements. Keep turning right. Now I'm going to start into my transition. I'm going to assume that was 30 seconds. I hope you guys are doing this with me. Don't just watch me in this pain, trying to change my goal soon. You guys join me. Then spread and then start to rotate. Be aware of that weird head movement that I sometimes get. Keep rotating. Keep rotating. Keep rotating. Because I've got my shoes off, I'm really feeling my feet push. My right foot is kind of sliding diagonally back. Keep turning. You can see the club is still moving. Still moving. Almost the impact. Just check it on the camera. And that's a way better impact position than I normally get in. I'm normally like this. So, there we go. What are we? We, we about... 25% of the way through this lesson. So again, I hope you guys have joined me. Man, it's kind of tricky. That's great, man. We were up to like 20 people on the live Instagram. That's a record. I hope you're not just watching. I hope you're joining me. So, change club. I'm going to pick. I'll pick a long club this time. I'll pick this sweet driving iron that... Uh, Chad Popovich from PXG fitted me for. Might be a bit, have to grip down a bit. Uh, take a breath, get set. Okay, we're gonna go back to the original drill. Sandwich training, but this time we're not gonna stop at the top of the backswing. We're gonna go through the transition. So we're gonna go back, and we're gonna go through the transition. So again, it's important that you're seeing a PGA professional, or that you know what you wanna change in your golf swing. It's also important that you stick to that. Like you don't keep changing what it is that you're working on, otherwise it's never, ever, ever gonna change. So, this keeps consistency. Consistency in mind, consistency in body, no outcome distractions, a massive opportunity to change your movement. So, sandwich training, let's go. Swing number one, the move that I want to make in my golf swing. So, hinge, turn, keep turning, load, load, and then make that transition. Okay, that's the move that I want to make. Felt pretty good. Now the move I don't want to make, and if you do this properly, if you commit to this, if you're doing this with me, and you join me tomorrow when I do it, or the next day, or the next day, or you just have the discipline to do it yourself, which is unlikely, you'll be better off joining me. That will create the environment that creates discipline. But what you'll see, the, mid, the move that you no longer want to make, it starts to get harder to access. So hopefully some of you that are joining me and actually engaging in this live group golf lesson will feel that. So the move that I don't want to make. So round and then all arms. That's what I don't want to do. Now what I want to do, last one of the sandwich drill. So hinge, keep it on the outside. You got on the outside, turn, 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 feel loaded, keep turning against that, spread, and then rotate, rotate. That was good. So that's two sandwich. We've got one more sandwich to do, and then we're gonna go back to our slow motion swing. Okay, again, I hope everyone's joining in. If not, I'm gonna fire this out on email, I'm gonna put it on swipe up, and you can do this at a later time, but I promise you this will help you change your movement. Just repping ball after ball on the range does not change a golf swing, just makes you tired. Okay, the move I wanna make, hinge, turn, 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 keep turning, feel loaded, and then push, push, Push. Okay, that's the move I want to make. The move I don't want to make, sandwich it in the middle. The move I don't want to make, it's getting a little harder to think about. In here, and then flip. And then the move I do want to make. And I can feel, because I've got my shoes off and I'm on a, Hard service, I can feel the footwork's not quite right. 
Um, that's given me some awareness. I'll have to speak to Zach uh, about that later on, get some help from him. Um, but overall, I think that's pretty good. I think I'm making, uh, I think I'm making progress. So I'm going to do the slow motion swing. So, slow motion swing, this is to last longer this time. 45 seconds on the way back, 45 seconds into impact. We're always, we are always trying to increase the challenge point as we go. So, okay guys, 45 seconds, what time are we on here? 16, okay, plenty of time. So, let's go, nice and slow. You can see, club's moving, club is moving. I hope you're following along at home. If you truly wanna change your golf swing, this is the kind of thing that's gonna help you. Take advantage of being at home. If you have children who are golfers, do this with them. You lead the class, get them to follow. This will really help them. Okay, I hope I'm coming up to 45 seconds. I feel like I might be a bit quick. Try and resist. And then push, push. I feel muscles becoming Okay, I gotta be honest with you guys, because I'm talking it through, I'm probably, and I'm not talking it through for me, I'm trying to talk it through for you, so I probably wasn't as cognitively engaged as I should have been in that one. Uh, I don't know whether that was good or bad. Uh, I tried, and I think I probably failed. I think it was a bit too fast, and I wasn't quite engaged in the movements, and I'm sort of losing it in transition. But still, that's why we're doing this, right? Failure or mistakes, that's how we learn. So this is already a good learning experience for me. We don't always learn the best golf swing through making the best golf swing. Our errors are big indicators, big chances to learn. That's why sandwich training is so good. We make the good move, we make the bad move, we make the good move, we sandwich the bad one in the middle, and over time, that middle movement starts to look a bit more like the good one. Uh, and if you don't believe me, uh, watch the golf channel, Practice Like the Pros. I did this with Martin Hall, and Martin commented how he saw his swing change visually change on air. He found it a lot harder to access his old movement after just three of these. So, enough of me talking, change club. Let's get back to it. I'm gonna get short from you over the wedge. Sandwich. Okay guys, this is the last sandwich drill. The last sandwich drill. So, keep my club on the outside. Hope you're doing this at home with me. Keep the club on the outside. Start to turn. Turn, big turn, short and wide, big turn, big turn, big turn, move to the ground, left shoulder to the ground, push, push, push to rotate, push, 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 keep turning, keep turning. Okay, that's the good one. Now the time for the bad one. To the bad one. I roll it inside, start the down swing with my arms and flip. Here we go. Foot comes off the floor way too early, flippy. And then the good one. Hinge, club on the outside. Keep turning. Okay, turn, 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 turn. Feel the pressure in the inside of my right foot. Moving into the heel, which is better than it was before. Now turn, turn, keep turning, and then transition. I think that felt better. Ooh. Good, that was the one I want to make. Now the one I don't want to make. Let's go again. Whew. I've lost, I've lost count, but we'll go again. I think I've got two more sandwiches to do. Okay, I'm gonna try and put a little bit more speed in them this time. So, swing to the top. Transitional push. 
Move I don't want to make, roll over the top, flip. Move I do want to make, swing to the top, transition, push. Okay. Showing you guys how bad my golf swing actually is. Um, but now you'll see, hopefully after doing this, you can understand that if you want to change your golf swing, this is a great opportunity. Pulling a nine iron, a six iron or a driver and hitting ball after ball after ball on the range. If I'm struggling to make the movement in my basement with no distractions, no outcomes, how do you expect to make it at 100 miles an hour with a driver? Doesn't make sense, right? So this provides us a great opportunity to change our practice habits. Right, last sandwich training, and then warning, we're going on to a two minute slow motion swing. So anyone who's doing this at home with me, man, I'm feeling it in my abs, my lower back, my heart rate. So this is a real, real good workout. Who says that golf's not for athletes, eh? Okay, last one, so good move. Bad move. Good move. And I'm real, I really fight early extension. And even at that speed, I can feel my pelvis wanting to early extend. So that could be a, a physical capabilities thing. It could also be a, a motor pattern thing. I, I don't actually know the answer to that. Okay, so that's sandwich done. Now, slow motion swing. So this swing gonna be all the way, all the way sort of halfway to impact and half follow through. Whew. Right, two minutes, 60 seconds back, 60 seconds down. Let's go. The key is, I'm gonna try and stay silent for this one because I wanna focus on it. And the key is for the club to continuously move never to break when you get into a position you got to know okay this is where this is what i want to do so actually i lied i'm not going to stay silent but i'm going to talk to myself rather than talk to you guys okay so pin shoulders back breathe pressure in the center of my feet okay chill club outside my hands Club outside my hands, club outside my hands, start to turn my whole body away, whole body, left shoulder feels like it's coming down, hips turning, start to feel the load, now we're going to get short and wide, short and wide as that would say, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, short and wide, keep turning, I'm tempted to look in the screen, but I'm not going to. Keep turning. My physical limitations are kicking in. Keep turning. And then, keep turning. And then, transition time. Start to rotate. Just rotate as hard as I can. Keep turning. I went way too fast there. Way too fast. Probably going to fail. Keep turning. Now should just be the rotation that's going to collect the ball, as my coach would tell me. And then head movement all over the place, which is what happens when I play. But again, there we go. Probably looked awful, but the engagement, if I can. I'm actually physically sweating now. So the physical demands and the mental demands of doing this are huge. Again, provide you an opportunity to practice effectively. So, change club. We got one last drill before this group golf lesson, peloton of golf, YouTube yoga for golf is over. And that is we're going to do our full routine. So we're gonna do our full routine with a slow motion swing at the end, it's nice and smooth, and then we're gonna sign off um, with a tiny little bit of imagery work. So, follow me guys, don't just sit listening. If you, are, if you have sat and listened to this and not engaged in any of the movements, man, you really must be bored. So, 
make sure you do this. If you don't do it this time around, put it on YouTube. I'm going to fire it out. Um, I know that the Ledbetter Golf Academy, um, it, Champions Gate, who I work for, uh, they are going to share it. So there's going to be plenty of options to, to get this, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's on YouTube. But please, please, please stop practicing like this. Master your golf swing while you've got this opportunity. So, deep breath. Just in rows, and you guys be doing your routine. Don't be doing mine. Okay, pick a spot on the ground. Another deep breath. Have a practice swing. Straight down the line of the shot. Now I'm trying to think a little more performance orientated. I'm trying to see if those movements are just blending in. Another breath. Blow all thoughts out of my brain. As I walk to the ball, completely immersed in my target in the sky. Target in the sky. Target in the sky. Check grip pressure. At the left corner of my eye, even though I can't see it, I can connect with it in my mind, connect with that picture of the target, almost feel where the target is and go. Okay, there we go. We started to add a little bit more context. We started to add the routine. If you have a simulator or if you have a net, you could continue this lesson and start to hit balls at slow speeds. First ball at 20% speed, second ball at 40, third ball at 60. If you mess up the swing, revert back. But now we have a real opportunity to master those swing movements. I think if you do this on a regular basis, you're going to turn up to the golf course and you'll be astonished at how the club will move around the body. So I want to thank everyone for joining my first golf peloton. I do not know if this was good. I do not know if this was bad. I do not know if it adds value. But what I do know is I'm going to do it again and again and again until it gets good and until it adds value. So um, before we sign off, I want everyone to stand still. This is like what they do at yoga, but not quite as spiritual and as peaceful. Just stand there, close your eyes, take a deep breath. And I want you to try and feel your goal swing. Those movements that we've been working on, Try and feel them. Can you feel them without moving your body? Can you feel them without moving your body? Okay, everyone in three, two, one, try and feel that golf swing without moving your body. Okay, good, step out, step back in. Three, two, one, try and feel that golf swing without moving your body. One more for luck. Breathe in, breathe out, close your eyes. Feel that golf swing without moving your body. Breath, there we go. Okay, guys, awesome. I'm very appreciative that so many people joined. We got up to like 20, uh, not quite so high on the webinar, but that's probably my digital marketing skills than anything else. But please leave comments. Um, also, if you want to check out my education on this, um, you can uh, purchase my book on Amazon. My book on Amazon is called Golf Practice, How to Take Your Range Game to the Course. I also have a YouTube channel, Game Like Training. Uh, and as I said, I work for the Ledbetter Academy. Um, absolute privilege to work for one of the most, well, not one of, the most innovative golf coach of all time, really changed the game uh, for all of us. And David has been an inspiration for me. You can find a lot of my stuff in their university. Um, their uni it's uh, Ledbetter. I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's ledbetter.university.com or university.ledbetter.com. But if you Google Ledbetter Golf University, you will see uh, courses for coaches. If you go on to ledbetter.com, you will be able to find information on David's um, indoor practice programs as well as mine. Uh, and what I'll do is on Instagram, on Facebook, I'll add those links. Uh, also, if you go to the YouTube channel, uh, the Ledbetter Academy uh, and the Ledbetter Junior Golf Academy, they're going to share some of this stuff. You'll be able to find links on there. So, first ever golf peloton. 
Don't know if it was any good. Don't know if it was bad. Don't know if it adds value. But I know I'll be back helping you guys try and take advantage of this adversity with the opportunity it prevents, uh, presents to practice your golf swing effectively indoors. Have an awesome day. Please spread the effective practice word. Uh, thank you. See you guys.